Well met, my friends, and welcome. Oh my goodness, is this the first thing we're gonna talk about? Close to 3k trophies, am I a referee? Oh man, I'm so bad at Clash. I'm still new though, I only started like last week. They got me started on it at DreamHack. And um, yeah, it was a terrible life choice, by and large. I'm glad to know that all of these guys will still talk about it and all the, all the great things in life. Struggle is real. Huck is a hardcore clasher, and he's playing against this guy in the top left, Jon Snow. This is the best of three. He is going to proxy gate him. Inter Santo Narrator, hermano. And the bottom right, CG's Huck. He's orange. He's Protoss. He doesn't like memes as much as I do, but he's still a cool guy. So let's see what Huck can do when it's not a two versus two. And by that, I mean two lanes versus two lanes. So yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, I actually have no idea. I haven't seen someone proxy gate in this matchup in a long time, but guess what? Guess what? Jon Snow's gonna scout it. He's gonna know. He'll know, he'll know, he'll know. Yep, he's already aware there's three trace gateways outside of his base. And there is a gas being taken, so what I'm assuming is that we will still see some variety of uh, yeah, he's gonna get this, he's gonna set up a couple zealots, and I'm expecting this to just be like him going ham right now, because he's gonna chrono out the zealots, but there's gotta be a cybercore follow-up too, yep. So three stalkers probably to follow it up. The pool is not yet done, so this is just gonna be him going ham. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I almost started casting seriously there, and then I was like, wait a second, I can just kind of troll around. Zzz, zzz. I always love watching this. Zealots are so badass. I wish they had the more gruesome sounding blade sounds though from Brood War. I guess everybody kind of does. Oh, this one gets surrounded. Jon Snow trying to uh, keep these uh, these wild lots out of his out of his home. <laughs> See, I can meme, guys. Let le epic Game of Thrones may may. Okay, as long as the zealots stand together, you know, they should be good. They should be Gucci. They have a spine. There is a spine done. They can block it from placing. No, they're not going to be able to do that. So the links get this around again. One more zealot down. Zealot. Dos. And tres. No, no, the micro. The micro! Pretty good so far, actually. But just one zealot makes it out alive. He's got an adept, bro. Next door. Speed is on the way. Good number of links on the map. Worker count is favoring the Protoss, but I mean, all the production is is out here. So as soon as this position is lost, it's all ogre. It's all ogre. Shrek will show up. He'll say, "This is my swamp," and that'll be it. That'll be it. That'll be GG tasteless. So this is a super tense moment right now. The adept shade gets canceled. I think he realizes he's like, "Oh my god, there's so many zerglings and zergling speed." Nah, man. I don't want none of that. So this is the real conundrum because you can't protect these gateways and defend your base back home. So Huck's army is going to get surrounded. I guess if he can trade against this, this is probably his best bet. But once this army is defeated, if and or when it's defeated, that's when things get really tricky. So he holds for now. Another massive wave of Zerglings is coming. But what does Huck do? He's chronoing Warp Gate. Yeah, he's just trying to defend. He's trying to defend the only production that he has. This is everything. This is everything. The professional Clash Royale player trying to stop this assault, this affront. And there we go. Overlord Scout in the main. He knows it's one base. These lings are going to try to attack. There is a wall here. But uh, you can't repair this wall. I'm pretty sure Trump's wall will be repairable. At least I would hope so. Pylon is going to get destroyed, and that's pretty much going to be it. There's nothing here to defend. I guess there's not enough lings to kill all these probes. That's a good point. Is he going to build more pylons? Nope. Sides against it. But having warp gate denied would be really bad. It does finish just in time. So all the gates can transform. Two of them started building adepts, so I don't think that's what Huck was wanting. The lings have managed to get to the main base. Two adepts are still here trying to defend, but... As the probe count dwindles for Huck, Jon Snow will take an increasing uh, advantage because he does have two bases. That's the most important thing. Even though Jon Snow hasn't been building drones, 
Now he's killed enough probes that it's even again. Look at this. Plus one melee is going to be so strong against this setup. There's a Twilight Council somewhere as well. Yeah, so he's getting Resonating Gleaves. Overlord sees that. He knows, he knows, he knows. Oh! Adept's coming around here. There's not enough zealots to fight this, though. And those lings, man, there's so many of them. They got that nice little hug around the adept. You know what I'm saying, dog? That's the kind of hug you don't want to give your uh, your close family, okay? Because it gives the wrong ideas. Everything. Everybody's dying now. GG. Hup taps out. Jon Snow takes game number one.